Good morning, the viewers at home. It's another beautiful edition of the show. The show is Perspectives. You know that here on Perspectives, if it happened, it's happening or it's being talked about. Our duty is to bring you the full gist here on the show. I am your host, um, Yinka Kenny is my name. And um, as usual, sandwiched and garnished and um, potato-ish and uh, what? <laughs> let me look for something that is masculine. Keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 your, it sounds like music to your my head. Your head is going. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes, I'm here on the show as usual with Abib Abdul. Good morning, good, Abib. Good morning, Nika. Good morning, viewers. Yes, it's, um, we are started on, a, on an, an, an elated mood this morning and we hope our viewers too will be elated as Kenny has made me elated this morning. You welcome to Perspectives once again. It's going to be a good show this morning. Yes, you are going to pay for all the elated and elation <laughs> and el el everything elating and elating this morning. Right. Yes, we cannot um, go on uh, without um, uh, giving our heartfelt um, condolences to the family of um, Kotlade Johnson uh, that um, was um, shot. Uh, during the week on that was last week Sunday, last week Sunday. precisely you know it was short um, well uh, we were told that it was a stray bullet some said that the, the the policeman shot at him directly a lot of stories you know mm. flying in the air but uh, whichever way it was it was really an unfortunate incident and the um, report says that um, the policeman has been dismissed and his case is in court i just hope and pray that um instances like this issues like these are are being copped you know as soon as possible you know it was it last year or two years ago that we had the the serious campaign about the end um, yeah, yeah. SARS and then um, you know all uh, we heard that you know the new ig reformed you know is a reformation or changing mm -hmm. of name that we now we don't have the SARS, we have the f SARS. well i feel the, something i just hope you know, it's not. It won't just be the changing of name. Exactly. It the will point. be the exactly because the point. you you just find out that you know Nigerians police is supposed to be your friend, mm -hmm. but the reverse is the case. In the midst of all this, I was I was with my with a senior colleague um, two days ago, just around here uh, here on um, Alausa, and um, we walked by a policeman, and he was telling somebody. He said to him, "I go just." shoot your leg now you know myself and my senior colleague we just you know we added to our <laughs> to our even i was telling him i said abi abi make a video this guy he said to me he said you guy i'm going <laughs> <laughs> You know, it, it's uh, it's just yeah, it's funny, but it's serious. Yes, it's, mean, it's unfortunate that it's you know, I don't know when they have the gun with them, you just find them that at times they are just trigger happy. They feel like I don't know if that if the gun intoxicates or something. Something must be done. And you walk on the streets, you know, you find out that a lot of them carrying these guns, they are drunk. You know, they, you, when, you, mm. when you move around, then you move near them, you smell so many things and you want to say, and this man has a gun with him. You know, you know it's, um, when, you, when you talk about guns intoxicating and, and, and what not, no, no matter what the situation is, they won't go and um, jump in front of a moving vehicle, will they? You know why those things continue to happen? People don't pay. Exactly. They've killed a lot of people, they've you know, injured a lot of people, they go scot-free. So the intoxication can continue to say yeah, yeah, intoxicated or, or whatnot. You you are not intoxicated to shoot yourself. Somebody must be made. Exactly, that, that's just yes. the point. Things like this may happen, would happen, but what happens afterwards? Exactly, what happens yeah. afterwards? We hope that uh, this situation will not be swept under and justice will be given. Condolences to the families of um, Kola Day Johnson. Yes, moving away from that. Yes, this morning our phone lines are open. The number to call is 09067575260. The number to call is 09067575260. We're going to be giving you a lot of stories this morning and we want to hear from your own perspective what you have to say. 
Yes, moving on. This morning, we want to say a belated happy birthday to the uh, first lady of the state of Oshun in the person of Alaja Kafayat Oyetola. Her birthday was on the 2nd of April. And um, her birthday, she celebrated her birthday in a, you know, in a beautiful way. Which other way is it to celebrate a birthday other than the way she had done it? She did it at the governor's country home. Her birthday was, um, she, she used them, uh, uh, it, she used a special way to commensurate this birthday. She organized the free surgical operation for people with lumps or the, and different abno, abdominal skin growth in the state. She did this at the Comprehensive Health Center for State. She did this as a way of giving back to the society. Alaja Kafayat Oyetola, we say a happy birthday to you and we wish you more fulfilling years by the special grace of God. Yes, uh, uh leaving that happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to uh yes away from that. Okay. Last week we were talking about our honorable tripartite minister. <laughs> triple minister. Yes, triple minister. Minister of ministers. Yes, he has <laughs> come out to say that uh, we we have um, some states. No, some let states, me not. Yeah. Let me not misquote him. Yes, he said some states, and he and he, and he stated Kebi and, and uh, Yobe. Yobe. You know, most especially, he said that they can now boast of twenty-four. Almost. Don't misquote. Almost. Uh, okay. Almost. <laughs> almost twenty-four <laughs> hours light. Okay. Hours. Almost twenty-four yes. hours light. That was what he said, and he said in you know various places you know because the, the, uh, where the transmission capacity has increased to 8100 watts you know so as that december 2018 we have um, better power we want to hear from your own perspective please call us let us know and, if you have 20 you have hours life light <laughs> if you have 20 hours light or 10 hours lights we want to know you know what's the power you know re, power situation is, is situation in your own area do we have a call there okay please the number to call is zero nine zero six seven five seven five two six zero all right having said that our power we're increasing in power mm. okay but um our debts is also increasing uh, more, more <laughs> Do we have a call? Hello? Okay. Uh, we have been said that we to be owing 2.387 trillion. I, <laughs> I just rest my case. Okay. Hello? Hello, good morning. Good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, what's, from, what's your own perspective of the stories? Okay. Where are you calling from? Where are you calling from? your call thank you all right yes please call in we want to hear what the power situation is in your own area hmm. you have you have a gist for us thank you. oh all the way from all the way from gambia it's uh it's 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 i don't know how, how to get this kind of um 
Should I say inspiration? It's not inspiration, definitely. Oh my God. You know, there's a, 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 a nurse a, a, who is on, on a... Okay, sorry, okay, we, have have a, we have a call. Hello? Hello, good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? You're calling from... Okay, what's your name? of the power in your area. Hello, Louis. I can hear you. I can hear you. What's the situation of the power in your area? I said, what's the situation of light? Oh, sorry, Louis. Please do us well to, to do well to call us back, please. The Louis from Badagri. Okay, you were giving us the story of the... Yes, the, the nurse all the way from Lusaka, Gambia. Elizabeth Mwema. You know, she used to be at the teaching hospital in, in, in Lusaka. And, you know, on her sick bed, now she's down with cancer, a terminal cancer, actually. And on her sick bed, she has... She's born again now and she wants to go to heaven. So <laughs> I she. Mean, I mean, see the way you just said it. She's born again and she wants to go to heaven. Okay, <laughs> but. but, but let's say the truth. Okay. So, now she's confessing all her sins. She's confessed to have swabbed about 5,000 babies while she was working at the teaching hospital. Guess what? For fun. For fun. And I don't know where that is coming from. And she's saying that. Hello? Okay. And she's saying that. Um, if you were born between 1983 and 1995, yes. you should please. And you were born at the university teaching us <laughs> Please go and check. Go and do it again. <laughs> yeah, the color. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from, please? Okay. Okay. What's the life situation? Okay, like, can you rate the hours of light? Wow. 15 to 20 hours. Thank you for calling. We appreciate you. Please stay tuned onto the show. Thank you. Okay, yes, thank that, you. that's wonderful. Yes, it's saying that at Abliagba, they now have about 15 to 20 hours light. Yes, this, this, uh, our madam. She said that she's been swapping babies. She's been swapping babies. For 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 the fun of so those of them that were born there. Yeah, a lot of marriages would have been destroyed as a result of that. Everybody will start to do the end. Hello, we have we have a call. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Uh, okay, good morning. We can't hear you. Okay, we're going to, we'll go on a short break now. We've told you the story of the madame that was that no, was swapping babies, babies for fun, and because she's as she's now with cancer and wants to go to heaven, according to her <laughs> baby, wants to go to heaven. She decided to confess a sin that was that happened in Zambia. We have a lot of stories for you. Please don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this short break.
have the show is still perspectives you know that air on perspectives if it happened is happening or it's being talked about we give you the full gist we give we've given you some stories this morning please do call in and give us your own perspective of the story do we have a call there okay please call us back yes um our next story hmm. this is rather so sad a lot of things are just happening and you just wonder why uh over during the week a justice yetunde idowu of the lagos high court ikeja on wednesday ordered the proprietors proprietress of Sendon International Nursery and Primary School, Olodia Papa. She is Uche Owe. She had heard that the, the justice has passed a, a judgment that the proprietress should pay the sum of 25 million naira as damages to a five year old pupil of the school, Destiny Kalu. Destiny Kalu, after it was flogged for owing. Apparently, Destiny Kalu's parents couldn't afford the school fees he was owing, and um, it was um, and the the proprietors ordered one of the teachers to flog him, and they flogged him. The boy, the account of the boy was that they flogged him until he was having blood in his eyes, and um, he was left unattended to. This this case happened in 2011. The parents of Ka uh, Destiny they taken him to every place to look for a cure. Uh, but um, unfortunately, and good. Hello, we have a call. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Please, what's your name and where are you calling from? Speak louder, please. I can't hear you. Okay, please call us back. And when you call, please put down the volume of your TV set and please speak a bit louder. We want to hear your own perspective of the stories. Like I was saying. The teacher flogged him and he was left unattended to for a long period of time. And ever since, he's been taken from one hospital to the other. Finally, he was operated on at the Lagos University Teaching Hospital. And the doctors confirmed that he's got a permanent damage to his sight. And the case has been in court ever since. But the, thank God justice was set during the week. And the, the judge ordered that he be paid the sum of 25 million naira as um, damages. Damage. But it's, it's really, it's really sad. It's really unfortunate because you now wonder if any amount of money can 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 justify to yes, can actually justify or equate to the loss of eyesight. It's really sad. Yes, but we, then we have a call. Is, it's like we have a call. Yes. Yes. Hello, good morning. Good morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, what's your name, please? Yes, you are on to perspectives. Please give us your own perspective of all the stories we've given to you. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, we can hear you. Go ahead, we can hear you. Okay, Mr. Aino. What is the situation in your area? One day off. One day, one day off. 
Oh my God. And, and the, 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 the off days, it, there won't be a mistake of putting it on the ah, so a mistake. Okay. But the, on, <laughs> the, the days on, it can go off. <laughs> there, is a, there, there is a story of um, different strokes for different people. Exactly. Okay, please do call us and give us your own perspective of the stories that we are giving. We just told you the story of uh, the unfortunate incident, but uh, finally, uh, justice is being served. Yes, justice has to be served somehow. No amount of money, just like we said, but I mean, we just have to follow the law. There are some things that are irreplaceable, but then there has to be some form of deterrence and some form of justice. So exactly. it's still. It, it took a long while, but then, thank God, it, it has come to a logical conclusion. But this situation of having to punish the child, you know, for the 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 sin of the parent, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand. It's, it's, you know, when you have to, you know, spank the child, uh, in, in which way will that bring back money? Bring the money to you? Or, I just don't know. No, no, for me, what, it what has what to be. This, I think this has to be looked into. This yes, it does. The, the sad part really is when you when you discipline a child, is to learn the lesson. It's not because you are angry or anything. So beating the child for what the parent told to do, what lesson are you teaching the child? It's just wickedness. Yes, hello. Okay. Okay, we are moving on to our hashtag segment. You know, we don't ever leave this show without telling you what's happening on social media yes so much is happening on social media this time around you know when it's happening on social media we'll bring you the full gist yes a good one this morning from um um our honorable minister abike dabiri you know she was responding to to a tweet you know by uh, somebody the tweet someone sent a tweet and said that four boys from st john's uh st john's science and technical college in anambra state have won the bronze medal at the international festival of engineering science and technology which took place in tunisia And um, uh, she is saying proudly Nigerian, well done, guys. That's a good one. Yes, that, that, that is a good one. That's a, a very good one. You know, all, all over the world, we have Nigerians making us proud. And, and exactly, and we, should, and we should, and we should, we should, we should not only project the the negativities. Yes, we, we should, should also the project too, them. Yes. What do you have with you, Abi? Yeah, this one is coming from a legal practitioner, verified on Twitter, Doctor Aminu Gamawa. He's saying, he's reacting to a story actually, but what he said is, Zamfara is resorting to superstition and sorcery to tackle insecurity. Sorcery and charm are prohibited by Sharia. Is Zamfara not practicing Sharia anymore? I don't know. I don't just know. That's a question to, to be answered yeah. by. Is it the, the state government? It's, well, or, the, the government, the, or, the, the local government chairman. The news is from a newspaper, it's a, it's a news, uh, online newspaper that says Zamfara to recruit 1,700 chamas to ward off bandits. But I, I just feel that governments should, do, should, be, should be more proactive about the issue of this kidnapping. It's becoming them. Um, you know, one too many, and um, yes. I think something should be done about it. Quickly, let's go to uh, a tweet from Ellen Paul. Is a, in fact, it's a tweet that um, really, really touched my heart, and I, I said that we must talk about this. Yes, first off, congratulations to you, Ellen Paul, because she just got her PhD, and she went to her Instagram page to say that this Ellen Paul, I dedicate this to my mom. You gave birth to me out of rape. They told you I wouldn't, I wouldn't amount to anything. I grew up hearing from family members being called a bastard. And each time I asked you, you said, Olon lo wo mo wiri. Olon lo, Olon ma wo ma we. Meaning, God watches the child of a mad person. He'd watch over you. Mommy, I want to know, I want you to know that I love you. I might not buy you bands now because I don't have a, a, a pant yet. But this certificate will amount to something great. They say faith is nothing, but grace is everything. And I pray for the grace in everything I do. I'm not a Selem member, but late Oshofa gave me the name and every, everything late Oshofa said about Ellen Paul is coming to pass. 
I dedicate this to every mother. May God make you strong enough to survive and enjoy the fruit of your labor. So emotional there. Yeah, that's, Congratulations that's, to that's you, Ellen deep. Paul. Yes, it's a story of someone that has been, you know, taught that will be nothing and became something. Mm. Wrapping up, what do you have there, Abby? Okay, this one is coming from Addis Wai, so me well in his wife. He says, welcome to this generation where people can now abuse you based on the number of followers you have, e.g., see her or him, she, he, he doesn't have up to 500k followers. Like, I mean, but wait, see her, followers, is that, not, is that now what validates us? Anyway, talking about followers, I don't These know. followers, so. Cele <laughs> celebrity, they say if you're a celebrity and you don't have followers, then you have not started. Okay, please follow us, follow, follow us on, on our social media. Exactly. Yes, on Facebook and Instagram. At Watch Perspectives and on Twitter, Twitter at see Perspectives. Please send us tweets, send us messages. We want to hear from you. We come here to give you different stories. We want to know your own perspective to every of the story that we bring to you your way every time we come around. Yes, that's where we call it a wrap this morning. Abby. Yes, it's been fun all the way and we're going to keep having fun week in, week out. Thank you for being with us and thank you for joining us and all your contributions. You are appreciated. Yes, still we'll come your way same time, same station next week. I am Yinka Kenny. God bless.